brew here. I thought today would be the perfect day to actually match a beer from the brewery in this glass right here. Little brown jug. It's a little brown jug beer going in it. I can't wait. It's nice out. It's a breakfast beer on a Saturday. Just can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. I'm over here now. So, this is the best class I've ever had in my life. Um, and then, and then Alan sends me out a package a couple weeks ago. I still have a bunch of them, but I, I thought, I thought, well, why don't we put a summer lager from Little Brown Jug in it? And let's, you know, it's, it's a summer lager. Uh, the brew on date is really hard to tell because uh, whatever that scribble is, it was supposed to be there. Well, 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 Little Brown Jug. Okay. Capturing the, what the? Hair? Was that Alan's hair? Maybe it was Alan's hair on here. Right on. Capturing the essence of the sun-soaked days, enjoying a refreshing taste of summer. Little brown jug. Contains barley. No hops for brew, but it's a lager. So there's hops in it, but um, can look like it got a little messed up, maybe. Whatever. Uh, I love the, look, more, more Alan's hair. I'm going to blame it on Alan's hair anyways. Love that logo. All right. Like, yeah, that with the beach chairs and this and that. Let's get it in the right glass. Well, I don't even think this is right glassware, but it's the right glassware because of a little brown jug. All right, so let's uh, get this in here. Let's see if there's any of that craft, uh, you know. That's beautiful. That's ice cold. You could tell my fridge in the basement is so cold. That has a haze to it. That has, You can't see Alan's face through there, can you? A little bit. That has a haze to it. Oh. I smell a little bit of a sweetness. Sweet, hot maybe, but... That smells... Like it's not a craft lager at all. So, all right. Gotta get into it. Thank you, Alan. I forgot to shook look it, but it was on my chest, so. Oh, yeah. That, once again, comes from Alan, too. Cheers. It's Alan. Oh, so it's a little hoppy, which is very nice. It's smooth. You can tell it's craft, but there's no aftertaste like craft. You know, usually when you have a craft lager, there's a little bit of an aftertaste or a little bit of a... This one, it's hoppy. There's a little hoppy to it, right? Hoppy to it. Hoppy to it. If I do that, my my titties go up and down. So I don't... I'll just cover them. Hoppy to it. Okay. Not for me. It's just... That's a well-balanced lager. 5% alcohol. You really... Alan's hair is all over it. You really can't go wrong with this. And it, look at how sexy that looks. Like, it, 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 there's a haze to this lager, which is really, really nice. Summer lager. That's smooth. That's better than my lake rice. Absolutely. There's some craft lagers out there that they overdo it. Um, they didn't overdo this one at all. They, I feel like they put effort into it to make it a perfect lager. It's not not perfect lager, but this is a very tasty, enjoyable lager where if I went there, I would get this on tap and an IPA, you know, like that's just a nice looking cold lager. That's tasty, man. I definitely get this on tap. There's some lagers out there where I, mm -mm, nope, but very good. That's a good 8 out of 10. Once again, Alan, you outdid yourself with this one. I'm always eerie, eerie on craft loggers. Well, I, I gotta send you out the cottage logger, I think, from uh, Bob Cajun. You haven't had that one yet. But this is good. Very good. 
8 out of 10. Thank you once again, Alan. You rock. Be kind to your neighbors and try something different. And if you ever hit Winnipeg, I'm just saying, um, go get yourself a summer lager from Lil Brown Jug and ask for it in this glass. Be kind to your neighbors, guys. I gotta go. Cheers.